Hey guys, and welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATcellprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Dalton, 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be walking through this problem with you as though you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's practice problem comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz in lesson seven of the biology two module. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem on your own before watching my explanation. Now, to really ace this question, we need to understand a little bit about how neurons interact with muscles and what makes muscles contract, some of the different channels involved. So let's talk about that. You'll notice here, we're looking at a muscle cell, and you'll notice here that I've drawn a little neuron. It's not my best art, it's not my best work, but it'll do. So we've got this neuron here that comes and connects to the muscle cell. This space between the neuron and the sarcolemma, which is the cell membrane, the outer layer of the muscle cell, this space right in here where they connect, there's a little gap, it's called the neuromuscular junction. Basically what happens is when we wanna move our muscle, our brain sends a signal and we get sodium channels that open up down the neuron and carry this electrical impulse that comes all the way here to the end of the neuron. When the electrical impulse reaches the end of the neuron, we have calcium channels on the neuron that are going to open up, cause calcium to flow into the neuron, that's going to release something called acetylcholine. And acetylcholine, these little molecules, I'll just draw an A here. The acetylcholine is going to bind to receptors that are here on the sarcolemma, here on the muscle cell, in that neuromuscular junction space in here, the acetylcholine is gonna to bind to it. That's going to cause more sodium channels to open up in the membrane of the muscle cell. And it's gonna cause another action potential, another electrical current that's going to travel all along the membrane of this muscle cell. Now there's something really special about this sarcolemma, about the membrane of the muscle cell. And that's that we have these things called T-tubules. Essentially what happens is these little T-tubules are indents that allow this current to travel in through these holes here inside the cell and the current travels all the way along here. When that happens, they hit something called the sarcoplasmic reticulum. And the sarcoplasmic reticulum also has calcium channels, but these calcium channels are inside the muscle cell. They're in their own space. However, this electrical current is going to cause these calcium channels to open up and release calcium. That's what causes the muscle cell to contract. Awesome, so with that new knowledge, let's go ahead and tackle this question. Basically, what's going on here is we've got researchers that are injecting large polar calcium channel blockers. They're injecting a large polar calcium channel blocker at the neuromuscular junction. So that space in between the neuron and the muscle cell membrane. And they want to see what's gonna happen. Let's go ahead and look at our answer options. First off, intracellular release of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum will stop. So remember that inside the cell, which is what intracellular means, we have calcium released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. That's what causes muscles to contract, right? And it's suggesting here that that would stop, but it's not going to stop. That's tempting because we know it's calcium channels inside the cell that are going to cause that calcium to come out. And so injecting a blocker might make us think that that would stop. But remember, this is a large polar calcium channel blocker and they're injecting it outside of the cell. And since it's large and polar, large and polar molecules can't get into the cell, the cell membrane. Small nonpolar molecules are the ones that are best gonna get through that cell membrane. This large polar blocker isn't going to get through, so it won't affect those calcium channels inside the cell. Next, sodium channels on the sarcolemma will close. Well, this one's a little bit easier to discard because this is a calcium channel blocker. So there's no reason that a calcium channel blocker would block sodium channels. So we're gonna say no on this one. Our next option is there will be no direct effect on the myocyte. And that's gonna be the correct answer because think about it. We have calcium channel blockers here in the neuromuscular junction. Now, the only place we have calcium channels that are important in this scenario are on the neuron and inside that muscle cell. So if we're putting this calcium channel blocker in the neuromuscular junction outside of the muscle cell and it can't get through that membrane, it's not going to have a direct effect on the process. So this is gonna be our correct answer. And finally, our last answer option, just to check this off, acetylcholine receptors will be stimulated and the myocyte will contract. So that's what would happen if calcium if the action potential went down, calcium came onto the neuron, flowed in through calcium channels in the neuron, 
and causes a release of acetylcholine, right? But this is a calcium channel blocker. So we're definitely not adding calcium into that neuron. We're definitely not causing the release of acetylcholine. This is going to be incorrect. Let's go ahead and check out our answer. Awesome. Perfect. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. If you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and request a free phone consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. We look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.